Let's see if you are given a picture of a graph of an absolute value inequality, if you can write the equation. I think you can. All right, so let's start off with a graph. And this one is going to be drawn like this. So we have dotted lines and we have our um, shading already put in there. So let's think about this for a minute. Um, the graph is, the parent graph is y equals the absolute value of x. y equals the absolute value of x. But now we are going to add some other components in. We might be adding something out front here that would change the shape of the graph. And we might be adding uh, an x value and a y value for a new vertex. And of course, then we have to decide, you know, what's going on with this guy? What, what kind of an inequality sign are we going to have with him? So let's get started here. The first thing we're going to do is we need to locate the vertex. And we can see that the vertex is at 2, 3. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And you know that the x value of the vertex goes contrary to what you think it would be. So we're going to have the, we're going to put the x value inside the absolute value. Then we're going to make it minus 2. And on the outside, we're going to have plus 3. Because the y value goes the same way you think it would go. And once again, the way I'm explaining it here is not mathematically correct, but it's just the way that you need to think about it in order to get to the right answer for, for now. We'll go into this more much later. And then we want to find the slope of the right arm. Just the right arm. We don't care about the left arm, just the right arm. And the right arm is right there. And that slope is down 2 to the left 3, which is um, to the left 1, excuse me. Down 2 to the right 1. Let's get that right. So our slope is negative 2. The next thing we want to do is determine what the inequality sign is going to be. Well, it's dotted, so we know it's going to not have an equal sign with it, and we are shading below, so that gives us y will be less than. Now we have everything we need to write this equation. And it would be y is less than minus 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2 plus 3. And by the way, for our purposes here, just like in the previous uh, couple of um, videos, we're only going to be talking about vertical stretches and compressions, not horizontal. We'll get into that later on in the year. All right, so let's try this one. I gave you this problem. This is absolute value. The parent function is y equals the absolute value of x. And so where is the vertex? Well, the vertex is at negative 3, 2, right there. And what is the slope of the right arm? Well, the slope of the right arm is up 2 to the right 3, so it's 2 thirds. And we are dealing with a solid line, so we know we're going to have an equal sign in there. And it's below, so y is getting uh, less, so it's y is less than or equal to. So our equation is y is less than or equal to 2 thirds times the absolute value of x plus 3 plus 2. The slope goes out here in the beginning. Okay, so that's it for right now. Um, the one thing I'd like to add is if the slope is negative, that would mean that the graph would be going down like this because then your right arm would be negative and then your negative sign would already show you that it is a reflection over the x-axis. So thanks a lot, folks. Uh, study hard and I'll see you in class.